I'm Matthew Richardson, Curator of Social History at Manx National Heritage, and this is an object that we're going to be featuring in our new military history gallery here at the Manx Museum. This is the original wooden cross that once stood on the battlefield grave of a Manx soldier. Private Thomas Corlett had emigrated to Australia before the First World War, and once the war began, he volunteered to fight and joined the 3rd Australian Pioneer Battalion. During the Third Battle of Ypres, which is sometimes known as Passchendaele, Thomas was killed by a shell and was buried by his comrades on the battlefield. As was the custom at the time, a simple wooden cross bearing his details was put up over his grave. After the war, during the 1920s, the Imperial War Graves Commission came along and replaced all of the wooden crosses with the familiar stone headstones that we see today. At that particular time, most of the wooden crosses, which had only been intended as temporary fixtures, were burned, but families, if they so wished, could claim their cross back. A small number did so, and they were returned to families. Of course, many of the crosses by this stage were very rotten and woodwormed, so many were destroyed. Over the subsequent 70 or so years, even more were lost in house moves and downsizing and things like that. Today, the number of these crosses that survive is very small. In the British Isles as a whole, possibly less than 100, mostly in museums. So this object, highly emotive as it is, of representing the grave of an ordinary Manx soldier is also extremely rare. This particular cross was found in a shed outside of a house in Balaf. It had been with the same family, Thomas Corlett's descendants, ever since the end of the First World War, and miraculously had survived, almost forgotten about, until 2014, with the anniversary of the First World War, it came to life once again. The family very kindly decided to donate it to Manx National Heritage, and it forms a key part in our new military history gallery. Thank you.